Hi, I'm Justine Gereza and I will be transforming a quadratic function into its standard form and vice versa. First off, this will serve as our guide for the whole process and as you can see, there are four steps to be done and able to transform it successfully into a standard form. Moving on, the quadratic function given is y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 17. And based on our guide earlier, the first step is to group together the terms containing x, which are negative 2x squared and positive 12x. Then the second step is to factor out a. If a is equal to 1, proceed to step 3. But in this case, our a is negative 2 and it's not 1, so we should factor out a. The third step is to complete the expression in parentheses to make it perfect square trinomial by adding the value of negative b over 2 squared and subtracting the value through the constant term. And in this function, the value of b is negative 6, so negative times negative will be positive. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared is 9, so the value will be 9. And since the value of a is negative 2, then the other side or the right side should be positive 2. To avoid confusion, before moving to the next slide, the final form as of now is y equals negative 2, open parenthesis, x squared, minus 6x plus 9, close parenthesis, minus 17 plus 2 times 9. The last step into transforming a quadratic function into its standard form is to simplify and express perfect square trinomial as a square of binomial in which the square of binomial in this problem is x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 squared are the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 9. And if you're wondering where positive 18 came from, it was from 2 times 9 from the last step. But since there are still like terms, which are the two constant terms, negative 17 and positive 18, then we have to add them and it'll lead to positive 1. And that's how I got the final answer for the standard form. And then in order to check, we have to transform it back to its general form. Our final answer for the standard form earlier was y equals negative 2, open parenthesis x minus 3, close parenthesis squared, plus 1. And then we have to expand the x minus 3 squared, which will become x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then we have to distribute the negative 2 to the terms inside the parenthesis, and it becomes y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 18 plus 1. And then we have to combine like terms, which will become negative 17, and then it'll become y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 17. As you can see, the final answer in its general form is the same as it's given earlier. And that's how we know if our final answer for our standard form is correct. That's all. Thank you.